Stopping distance, quest 2022. A car is initially moving at a constant speed of 20 meters per second. The driver sees an obstacle on the road and brakes for four seconds to stop the car. What is the stopping distance? Reaction time for the driver is 0.2 seconds. Assume uniform acceleration. Positive X is defined as to the right. So is it A, 40 meters? Is it B, 44 meters? Is it C, 36 meters? What is the reaction time? It takes a little time for us to react to something that we see on the road. So during that reaction time, we are actually moving. And once the reaction time has passed, then we apply the brakes. So we have the distance one traveled during the reaction time, during the reaction time, and we have distance two travel during the stopping or the acceleration time. We can do this in three ways. So let's do the first approach. Usually the first approach is what I like. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. So what is the distance travel during the reaction time? During the reaction time, you are going at constant speed. Before you start applying the brakes, you are going at constant speed. If speed is a constant, distance is speed times time. 20 meters per second for how long? 0.2 seconds. So what is the distance? 4 meters. So we travel 4 meters before we start applying the brakes. Now once we start applying the brakes, what is the distance that we have traveled? For that we use displacement is equal to average velocity times time. To find the average velocity, we have final velocity plus initial velocity. And that's not it. It is final velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2. That is your average velocity, and that multiplied by time. Final velocity is zero, it comes to a stop. Initial velocity is 20 divided by two. And what is the time? Four seconds, so what do we get? 40, 20 divided by two is 10, 10 times four is 40. Average velocity is in meters per second. Time is in seconds, so what is meters per second times second? It is meters. So now you add 40 meters to 4 and you get the total distance travel. So average velocity is final velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2. Divided by 2. Final velocity is 0. Initial velocity is 20. So 0 plus 20 divided by 2 is 10 meters per second. What is the time? 4 seconds. So what is the displacement? Average velocity times time and that is 40 meters. So we have 40 meters during the acceleration and we have 4 meters during the reaction time. You add 4 and 40 and what do we get? 44 meters. So our answer is 44 meters. No matter what approach we choose, the answer should be the same for you and for me, right? So let's use another approach. Approach number 2. For approach number two, again, no change for the approach that we can do during the reaction time. It is speed times time. Speed is 20 meters per second. Speed is 20 meters per second. Time is 0.2 seconds, so you get four meters. Now distance traveled during stopping. For that, we use the famous formula, delta x is equal to v0t plus one half at squared. What is delta x? Displacement. What is initial velocity? Initial velocity is 20 meters per second. What is time? 4 seconds. What about acceleration? We don't know that. So we have to get acceleration. And you know that by definition, acceleration is equal to, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Final velocity, once it comes to a stop, it is zero. Initial velocity is 20, so many meters per second, okay? Divided by, what is the time? Four seconds. So meters per second per second. What is negative 20 divided by four? It is negative five meters per second per second. 
So that's what we have here, negative 5 meters per second per second. Note the negative sign for acceleration. What does that mean? It means that the final velocity is less than the initial velocity. So displacement is equal to V0 t plus 1 half a t squared. Do we know V0? Yes, 20. Do we know the time? Yes, 4 seconds. Do we know the acceleration? Yes, negative 5. Please don't forget. Negative 5, negative 5, negative 5. What about the time? Time is 4 seconds. So you substitute all those numbers. What is 20 times 4? 80. What is 4 to the power of 2? 16. 16 times negative 5 is negative 80. Negative 80 divided by 2 is negative 40. So what is 80 minus 40? 40 meters. So displacement is 40 meters. So what is the distance traveled during the acceleration? 40 meters. We have 4 meters during the reaction time and we have 40 meters during the acceleration time. So what is the total distance traveled? 44 meters. This is approach number 2. Let's do approach number 3. Again, no change during the reaction time. Speed times time. 20 meters per second times 0.2 seconds. 4 meters. No change there. Distance traveled during stopping. So you are, you are used to V final squared is equal to V0 squared plus 2 times acceleration times delta X. Can you subtract V0 squared from both sides? So what do we get? V final squared minus V initial squared is equal to 2A delta X. From that you can get displacement and that is V final squared minus V initial squared divided by 2 times A. Do we know final velocity? Yes, it is 0. Do we know the initial velocity? Yes, 20. Do we know the acceleration? So we have to get the acceleration. And for that, you go back to the definition of acceleration. It is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So you get negative 5 meters per second per second. So you substitute that and you get negative 400 divided by negative 10. And so negative and negative cancels. You get 40 meters. So what is the total distance? It is 4 plus 40 and that is 44 meters. And thank you. And this is George Matthew saying goodbye to you. Please don't forget, I'm signing off for both myself and for my dad.